My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have an amazing find right here. This 1971 Charger 500 that you're looking at, beautiful car. It is original. It's a 23,000 mile original survivor. That gleaming paint is the factory paint. This thing's amazing. 318, air conditioned, power steering, documented, pretty much a one owner car most of its life. Visit volocars.com and you can read all the specs and study the pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin in this low mile survivor. I see thousands of cars every year, literally. And I'm telling you, this is one of the best survivor cars that I've seen. Uh, on, the car was Z-barded. For those of you that are too young and don't remember what that is, that's when the dealer would sell you this rust protection. So the bottom of the car is rust-proofed with Z-bart, and it's all clean, solid, original metal. Uh, they did put dual exhaust under there with some Flowmaster mufflers. Everything else is just really well-preserved, clean, original. There's still some assembly line crayon uh, writing on the rear end even. I should back up and tell you more about the history of the car. A uh, gentleman was handicapped. His wife bought him this car as a surprise, brand new. A gentleman, I was told, still lives in Minnesota and he's 104 years old today. Uh, but anyway, he owned this car till 2016. So it was a one owner car till 2016. And actually a bar owner gives away a car every year as a promotion. He bought the car from the family to promote and give away as a raffle. He did that. And then the third owner is the gentleman that we got it from and he kept the car. So uh, it is a three owner car. The one owner was a bar owner is just giving the car away. The bar owner wanted to dress it up a little bit. He put new 15-inch uh, rally wheels with the white letter tires. He also installed a factory spoiler. I was told that's an original spoiler, not a reproduction. So those two things were added to the car to jazz it up a little bit. Uh, the car is the original paint. Um, the gentleman that actually found the car for me and let me know about it is a uh, very well-known Mopar expert. I mean, he's had million-dollar Mopars. Uh, he's the one that looked at the car for me. He says it's original paint, original interior. Everything about it's legitimate. That's all he really messes with are good original survivors. So he's also the one who said it's an original spoiler. Uh, so I believe what he tells me. Anyway, the body, uh, I'm going to say is mint. It's absolutely straight everywhere you look. Uh, the paint is original, it's hemi orange, it's slick. I don't know if they got it ceramic coated or what, but it's like nothing would stick to this thing. It is slick as can be. It's all the original paint. Standing right here, it, it looks like it would compete against any show car. If you do get up on it, there are a number of little nicks, you know, various places all around the car. They do not stand out, but they are there. Here's two nicks, scratches I should say. But it's original. It's got to have a little patina, a little story to it. But again, standing here, the car is so overwhelming, you do not see those. This is hand-painted factory pinstripe is still on the car. Uh, no bubbles, no rust. Uh, I'm going to say no door dings. I mean, I look down both sides. It's straight across the roof. Everywhere is straight. The body gaps are spot on. I actually didn't know Mopar did this good of a job when they were new, but it fits beautifully. Uh, the chrome, look at the grill, the plastic, the emblem, everything up here is just mint. It's got the original antenna, it's still shiny. It's Charger 500, it's shiny. The moldings are shiny. It has the dual chrome uh, racing mirrors, they're excellent. 
All the original glass is crystal clear, it's, and it has the Z-Bart uh, sticker on the windshield over there. The stainless moldings are real nice. Door handles are pristine. Looking through the glass is mint inside there. Wait till we get to the interior. I love the interior. Uh, the rear bumper is probably an 8 out of a 10. There's a little mark here or there, but it's beautiful. The whole tail light uh, assembly there is excellent. Completely original metal. They did Z-Bart the floor. Uh, it has the original mat in really nice shape. This is the original weather strip with the part number still on it. That's excellent. This looks new, but it's original. There's some uh, crayon marking. Actually, G78, that's the tire size, is written on the trunk lid so they knew what spare to put in there. Uh, the latch is pristine. The jack is there. The spare tire has never been used. It still has the nubs on the tread inside the car. Practically brand new and it's original. I sat in the seats, the cushion is firm, it hasn't disintegrated, you feel like you're sitting in a new car, you're looking at a pristine dash. We'll get back to that in a second. The 318 motor, you'll hear it in a minute, just runs smooth as can be. Someone did very carefully touch up the blue on the engine. They did a nice job, but it's all original. The uh, air cleaner and the tubes and the vacuum lines and the heat riser and the shields and all that's original. It does have factory air, so that's some of the original stampings on uh, a couple of the different parts still. Also has power steering. But this is a white interior and it still looks practically new. The door panels are mint. Look at, they're not broken or beat up. There's no speakers, there's no mouse holes. The only thing you could say is a little bit wrong with the interior, some of the white plastic in spots is a little yellowed. If you wanted to, and a, a professional upholstery guy or body shop guy can easily re-dye that, but you might want to leave it original. See, that's a little discolored in a couple of places. But there's no wear, there's no mint, it's, or, or, no wear, no damage. Uh, it's straight, it's not warped. The steering wheel, it, it's not worn at all. The dash pad is mint. The instrument panel is pristine. The chrome around each gauge is sparkling. The, the knobs, the vents, the lenses are mint. I opened the glove box, the light works. The glove box liner has a factory OK stamp in there. Uh, there's also a tag they found under the seat that says uh, OK. Uh, the original carpet's mint. These are bucket seats, and that's a buddy cushion. You fold it down, you got a nice cushion armrest, you fold it up, it's like a bench seat, but those are bucket seats with the optional buddy cushion. The original trim tag, his fender tag, has never been off the car. He did add cruise control. This was added by the original owner a long time ago. It does have a cruise control. Everything in here looks complete and proper. Uh, it still has original hoses and belts. That's what the Mopar expert told me. The hoses and belts. I think the heater hoses might be changed. There's still paper tags around some of the wire looms. Original radiator. The headliner's mint, the dome light works, the mirror, the visors are mint, the buckles on the seat belts are mint, and the original radio. Aside from a couple spots where it's a little discolored, I'm going to say the interior is about as perfect as you get. We have paperwork. We have the original uh, invoice, the original sales contract, the original build sheet, uh, oil change sticker. It's 16,000 miles on it uh, back in 94. They don't come across, you don't come across an original like this too often. Door jams are mint, weather strips are soft. Everything, the, the pedals, the high beam dimmer, it, everything in here is just mint. What a good car. I mean, doesn't that just run spot on?
quiet and smooth. If it wasn't for the Flowmaster mufflers, I wouldn't know this car was running. If you watch my videos, you know I love it when a door shuts real nice. It's just a solid thunk. Look what a sharp car this is. You got a great story. Speaking of story, you, even the key buzzer works. You can barely see it. I wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't told, but there's like two circles. He had suction cups with a handle. He said he was handicapped and he would use that handle to help himself get into the car. Oil change stickers, a couple of them in the jam there. Anyway, I was going to say I talk too much, but no, I can't talk enough about this car. This is a rare opportunity. If you like originality, don't wait. This car is going to sell and you're going to miss out. It's a good looking car too. Usually you get an original Survivor. It's some brown four-door that no one wanted to drive. That's why it sat in the barn so long. This is a car that I'm surprised it didn't get more use, but the story uh, explains why. Anyway, go to volocars.com. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. Uh, plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. They will ask, uh, answer any concerns or questions you have about the car, the process, uh, you know, financing, delivery. They'll help with all of that. You just enjoy watching the videos. Thank you. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you will be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.